electric seal. So it's four degrees outside and the battery temperature at the moment is six to seven degrees and let's now go to settings and energy, charging and discharge, battery preheating and put that on. So now, now the battery preheating has been enabled. It's uh, 7.26 and we'll measure now the time that it takes to raise these minimum cell and maximum cell temperatures. And then after, after preheating for an hour, we'll do DC fast charging. So let's see how it goes. Alright, so now we have been preheating the battery exactly for one hour and the maximum cell temperature is up to 14, which is decent, but I would have hoped to see 15 at least. But probably the biggest problem is that the minimum cell temperature is 3 degrees away from the maximum cell temperature. And this is important because to get the best charging power, these temperatures need to be quite close to each other. But definitely my expectation before I started this preheating was that both of these figures, the minimum and maximum, would have been 15 degrees or more. And now it fell short of that expectation. 11 degrees definitely is not much for the minimum cell temperature after one hour of preheating and it is not even winter yet. Now, well now it's 12 degrees uh, at 61 minutes of preheating, 12 and 14. Um, next I will drive to the DC fast charger, it is just around the corner. So the, so the driving today doesn't cause any heat to the battery. Of course in reality when you are on highway doing long distance journey, um, you, you will also generate some heat to the battery uh, by driving. You might need to drive 150 kilometers, even 200 kilometers on highway in cold temperatures to see a really significant climb in the battery temperature. Uh, today, no highway driving, just, I mean, I've been just driving first, uh, you know, 500 meters and soon I will drive another 500 meters, which doesn't have any impact. So the figures you see here on the infotainment screen, uh, coming through the OBD uh, reader, mm. these are now purely by the new battery preheating function that was added to the version 2.0, the system version 2506. Uh, the BYD seal. So, so far it doesn't look optimal. It, it should be better. Would have hoped at least three degrees more into these minimum and maximum cell temperatures than what was the result after the one hour of heating. Let's remember that it's five degrees outside. It is not yet winter conditions. So, um, We'll see how this system does when it's actually harsh winter conditions. It seems that this battery preheating is consuming uh, about above one kilowatts because the total consumption that you, you'll see here uh, currently is uh, a little bit over two kilowatts and um, I think about 700 watts of or to one kilowatt is uh, the baseline consumption of having the, you know, of course I have the air conditioning on uh, on the lowest setting at the moment. 
and of course then the electricity to all the car systems is consuming a bit of so it seems that the battery preheating maybe the consumption is around 1.3 kilowatts so if you think that you are driving uh, on a long distance journey and your overall consumption is 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers for example i'm using that figure then enabling the battery preheating function would add 1.3 uh, onto that figure roughly so it would be it would climb from 20 to 21.3 uh, and that would be roughly five percent increase in the consumption but yeah let's now continue drive to the dc fast charger which is very close by and let's see what kind of starting power we get from the charger it is 100 kilowatts charger, so let's see if we can reach something like 70 kilowatts at the beginning of the session. So like mentioned, this is 100 kilowatts charger, so I think expectation for the starting power might be there in 70 kilowatt range. And the charging is started. Now it's ramping up. We are at 50. Yeah, it seems that we are not getting 70 kilowatts. Well, well, we are. We are. There's 75, 81, 87, 88. So, so far, over the expectations. And it seems to stay there in the 88 kilowatts, so that's decent. That's actually a very, very decent figure, and the car is reporting uh, 87. So in these conditions, it seems that the preconditioning was enough to get it to maximum cell temperature 15 and minimum was, was it 12 or 13. So for this 100 kilowatts charger in these 5 degrees Celsius outside temperature conditions, that was enough. Uh, now the power is 92, so we are, so this, we are pulling pretty much the maximum that uh, we can get from this charger. It's almost at maximum 100 kilowatts is the theoretical maximum from this charger. So so even though the preheating seemed slow and it was slow anyway this charging session looks uh, good and we didn't end up with uh, you know car having to heat the battery uh, in the beginning and that would have resulted in low charging power initial but we got pretty much immediately that 88 kilowatts and now it's up to 91 kilowatts so that's a very good result from this CCS uh, charging session but now let's uh, uh, turn the now let's put the car on and check the temperature figures from the battery cells All right, the car scanner app is starting up and let's check the dashboard. All right, so charging power is up to 93 kilowatts. That's an excellent result from the 100 kilowatts charger. And the minimum cell temperature is up to 18 and the maximum cell temperature up to 24. So um, it seems that the Heating really accelerated when the CCS charging started, but the preheating probably helped it to get to that speed. Because at least a year ago, if I would have went to CCS charger with the cold battery, like 7 degrees uh, cold battery, it would have taken longer. But um, 
the true test, the stress test of this system, the heating system, will be then in the, in the winter time when the temperatures are around minus 10 degrees. So last winter my charging tests, I did quite a few of those, at least three or four. You can check the videos from the channel. The seal struggled uh, with the heating the battery in those temperatures. Of course it managed to do it, but it took time. So that will be seen then. D does the heating really accelerate like it did uh, here today when the outside temperature is 5 degrees? I'm in a parking hall as you can see, but I went straight to the charger after I drove in. So I don't think the uh, little bit warmer temperature of this parking hall affected the charging speed that much. But yeah, of course there are many factors. I'm aware that this is this was not the trickiest case yet and um, and of course if you are stopping at 200 or 300 kilowatt charger the expectation for the charging power is of course above 100 kilowatts let's remember that the seal can pull 150 kilowatts from CCS charger and um, this is uh, nowhere near the maximum that the car can take now at 65% state of charge we see the usual drop in the charging power so it's now down to 80 kilowatts. Okay now the state of charge is 70% and that is enough for me for this charging session. Uh, charging power at the end is 80 kilowatts and the temperatures are from 27 to 38 degrees in the battery. So let's now stop the charging session. So this was the test today. Let, let me know in the comments and use the like button. If you liked this test, if you thought that this was, this was useful, should I do more of these in different conditions with different chargers? Let me know it. Let me know that that feedback is super important. But yeah, as a summary, I think the um, I think the end result was excellent. This was a very flat charging curve. I think the average power was. Uh, over 80, 85 kilowatts uh, from a 100 kilowatts charger and a really, really kind of flat curve. Excellent to see that one. Uh, initially, it looked a little bit worse after the preheating. The preheating wasn't as fast as I was thinking it would, would have been. Fell short of my expectations by some 3 degrees. So after an hour of preheating, the battery wasn't yet reaching 15 degrees which was my expectation level. The end result is of course what matters and now the charging session was a really successful one. It was a really fast one. Uh, we got uh, you know um, almost half a battery in just 28 minutes. That's very good from 100 kilowatts charger. Please share your thoughts in the comments section if you agree or disagree with my observations. And for those who are driving the seal currently with this 2.0, have you have you tried the preheating functional? What is your experience on on the preheating? But yeah, as usual, thanks for watching and until next time.